Hey, how's it going, guys? In this video, we're going to learn how to use ChatGPT for API in Python. All right, so today I got the invitation to access ChatGPT for API, and that's how we'll cover uh, how to use the API real quick in Python. All right, so uh, let's look at the uh, documentation real quick. So for the ChatGPT API, it's based on the GPT-4 model. Now, if we look at the uh, models here, so for the uh, chair GPT-4 API, which is going to be the GPT-4 model, we have four different uh, versions. We have the GPT-4 model, which is going to be identical to the um, GPT-3.5 model, except that we'll be able to do a lot more complex tests using the uh, GPT-4 model. Now, beside the regular uh, standard GPT-4 model, we have GPT-4-0314 uh, model which is a snapshot of GPT-4 model from March 14, 2023. And with this model, the model is not going to get updated. It is going to be purely uh, just a snapshot. Then we have the 32K and the 32K0314 model. So for the GPT-4 32K model and the GPT-4 model, the only difference is the uh, token limit. So the regular GPT-4 model can only accept up to 8,192 tokens. First, the 32K model, which can accept up to 32,768 tokens, which is almost uh, four times more than the uh, regular GBT4 model. Now, in terms of the usage, and it's going to be identical, as I mentioned before, it's going to be identical to the uh, GBT3.5 model. Now, let's try out the GBT4 model in Python. All right, so first we need to generate an API key. Now, if you don't have an account, simply go to platform.openai.com and simply sign up for account and follow the instruction. All right, so here I'm going to uh, basically reopen the page. Now on the home page, you want to click on your username. Then click on view API keys. Now here I'm going to create a new set of API key. All right, so I need to delete one of the keys. Now, for demonstration purpose, I'm going to copy the API key to my Python script. All right, so I'll name the uh, variable API key. Next, we need to install the OpenAI Python package. Now, open your terminal. All right, so here I'm going to create a new session of my terminal. And to install the OpenAI Python package, we'll type the command pip install, OpenAI, enter. All right, so going back to the Python script, here I'm going to import the OpenAI module. Then I need to attach the API key. So here I'm going to type OpenAI.API key. Then I'm going to assign the API key. Now going back to the documentation. All right, so here I'm going to uh, use the GBT for 32K model. So I'm going to create a variable called model ID. And I'll assign the model ID. All right, so this is going to be everything we need for now. All right, so here I'm going to create a function. And I'm name the function chat GBT conversation. And this function will have a parameter called conversation. Now inside the function, I'm going to make an API code to OpenAI's endpoint. All right, so here I'm going to type OpenAI to reference the OpenAI module. Then we want to use the chat completion model, dot create. Now for the output, I'm going to name that as response. Now inside the create method, we need to specify the model that we want to use to the uh, model parameter. All right, so this is going to be model ID. Next, we need to pass a list that contains the uh, conversation log. So the parameter is called messages. And here I haven't created the uh, conversation log list yet. But I know the list is going to be named as conversation from the uh, conversation argument. Then we're going to return the response object. 
All right, so here I'm going to create a list. I'll name the list conversations. And we rename this to conversation log. All right, so the way how ChatGPT API is able to recall the conversations by accessing the uh, this uh, conversations list to look at previous conversation logs. Now, when we send a command to ChatGPT API endpoint, we need to provide two things, row and content. So the row ID is being used to identify if a conversation belongs to the AI or belongs to the user. And there are three uh, different roles, system, user, or assistance. So when you make an API call, so most likely you will either use system or the user role. But the system role is uh, optional. It's going to be used to uh, trigger the first uh, conversation prompt. All right, so for example, so here I'm going to make an API call to uh, ChatGPT for API. So I'm going to assign the user role to uh, this uh, dictionary object. And this basically means that me as a user, I want to uh, send a request to ChatGPT for uh, API. Now for the content, which is going to be the prompt, I can uh, basically ask anything. So I can say, tell me a joke. And I'll pin the uh, dictionary object to the conversation list. All right, so if I print the conversations list, let me go ahead and run this code block. Now, if you look at the list that belongs to conversations, so basically, uh, this is going to be log number one. So I'm going to uh, send this list, and ChatGPT API is going to look at the uh, last item on the list to determine uh, what the intention is going to be. And here, let me go ahead and uh, run this code block to attach the API key and also to create the ChatGPT conversation function. All right, so here I'm going to make an API call using the ChatGPT conversation function. So basically, when we make an API call by passing the conversations list, the uh, chat completion dot create function is going to append the conversation record inside the response object, and which I'll show you in a second. Now here, if I run line 17, oh, so here I forgot to update my, here, let's do this. I know why I'm getting an error. I forgot to uh, upgrade my OpenAI Python package. All right, so I'm going to type pip install dash uppercase U OpenAI. So that's the shortcut to update the uh, Python library. All right, so let me uh, start over again. So I'll go ahead and create a function and I'll attach the API key. Now here I'm going to create the conversations list. Then I'll append the uh, first conversation record. Now this time if I go ahead and run the function, now it's giving me, uh, let's see. Let me change the model ID. All right, so let me try again. So this time I'm able to uh, make the uh, API code successfully. All right, so let me look at the uh, documentation. I might have to look into it uh, after this video. Now if we look at the um, conversations list, and here's the output. So we have this uh, open AI object that contains the response. So creator is going to be the uh, timestamp that you make the API call and the usage that how much uh, token this API call is going to cost you. Now, if you want to access the response, the GPT-4 response is going to be inside this uh, choices key. 
And here I'm, I see I made a mistake. So uh, I don't think this is going to append the uh, conversation log to the conversation log uh, argument. All right, so what we need to do here is we can, yeah, so we can reference the conversation log, which is contains the latest conversation records. All right, so I'll basically append the record from the response object to the conversation log argument. All right, so here if I let's do this, so this should be conversation log. All right, so anyway, um, I know this conversation's uh, list is going to contain this open AI object, uh, object. Now here I can reference the choices key. And that will give us a list. Now inside the list, the response is always going to be the first record. So I can reference the uh, first element. And I know the response is going to come from this uh, message key. So I can type message followed by content. And that will give us the uh, response. Now uh, here what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the response option. That choices. And it's going to be the first element, that message, that content. And I want to make sure that I removed all the uh, empty spaces on both ends. All right, so here let me try again. So I'm going to run this code block. All right, if I print the conversation list, and I should expect two records. All right, so uh, here I forgot one thing. So this should be a dictionary. All right, so let me do this. Let me come out this line here. And I want to make the API code again. Oh, so this should be, let me. All right, so let me recreate the conversations list. And here I forgot to recreate the uh, function. All right, so I apologize for the uh, mistake. So let's take a look. All right, so going back to the uh, choices key. Inside the message, we have content and the row. All right, so here I've got to append the row to the, uh, inside the ChatGPT conversation function. All right, so this is going to be row, and this will be coming from messages dot row. Then we we'll have the content. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. Now to convert this uh, code snippet into a, a workable code to work like uh, ChatGPT. All right, so here we need to insert a while loop. Now inside the while loop, let's say I want to create a command line tool. The first thing I want to provide is being able to allow users to provide their inputs. All right, so I'll name the inputs pump. And it's going to be uh, user. And once the user provide uh, their input, so we can append the input to the conversations list. And here I'm going to change this to how may I help you. And I'll change the role to system. So basically this is going to serve as a trigger to start the conversation. Now let's say you have a very specific use case. Now let's say you are creating a resume or cover letter assistance. Then you will modify the pump to be something like I'm a resume helper. How may I help you? And based on this pump here, ChatGPT API will be able to uh, identify the uh, purpose that you're trying to do. But for now, I'm going to make this a little bit more general. So I'm going to say, how may I help you? Now going back to the while loop. So here I'm going to append the uh, record 
based on the prompt here. So the row is going to be user followed by content. Then I can uh, code the function. And here we can simply update the conversations list. And this will be conversations. Now for simplicity, I'm going to basically uh, print the conversation list. All right, so here let me save the uh, Python script. And I'm going to rerun the script. All right, so here this will be a uh, system. All right, so let's take a look. And here have uh, this uh, print statement, which I don't need. All right, so let me try again. So here we can provide our uh, request. So I can say, tell me a joke. Now, if we look at this output right here, so the first record is going to be the initial uh, prompt, followed by the response from the ChatGPT API. Then we're sending our request to the uh, ChatGPT API, followed by the response from the API. So this is going to be everything I'm going to share on how to use ChatGPT for API. And hope you guys find this video useful. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a like and click on the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.